Okay, class, I'm going to teach you how to set up the TENS 7000. Just a quick review of what TENS is, Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation. Why do we use TENS? It's widely used as a you know, non-pharmacological, non-invasive, safe, easy to use uh, to manage the pain. The mechanisms of pain control uh, uses two mechanisms, the gate theory and then dodges opioid theory uh, from lecture. You can go into that. But on this video, I'm just going to show you how to set this one up. Before you turn it on, you want to connect the electrodes. So you can use a one channel or two channel setup. If you use a one channel, you just put that right in there. And then it will have the cathode and the anode. Okay. Research shows that you can use either on the painful site. It doesn't make that much of a difference. So whether you put the red or the black near the painful site and with the TENS unit, it does not make much of a difference. Now you can connect the electrodes. Don't shove it in. If it doesn't go in easily, you don't want to jam it in there, but it should fit in there firmly and it shouldn't be loose. Okay. Now, before you put this on a patient, you want to clear the skin, um, do your skin checks, light touch, sensation, but you also want to clear it and clean it with mild soap and water. You try to not use alcohol because it can irritate the skin. Um, so the best is mild soap and water. Okay. Now, if you open this up, and if you open this up right here, you'll see the display. In order to turn it on, you take this dial and turn it clockwise just until you hear a beep. Now, when you turn it on, you'll see that it's on normal right here. If you toggle this mode here, okay, you can toggle this mode. You can see that it goes from modulation Strength duration one, strength duration two, burst. Okay, we're gonna start at normal. And that's probably the most commonly used for acute pain. And this is going to be a high frequency, low amplitude. So what that means is if you look at the parameters here, the rate is 100 Hertz and the width is 100 microseconds. Now, if you wanted to change that, you would just hit the set and you see how it flashes and you can toggle this down or up and then you can hit set again and you can change the rate from 100, you can go down. Now, Hertz, it, Hertz is synonymous with pulses per second. So in some machines you may see pulses per second, but most likely you're gonna see Hertz. Those are the same, okay? Did you notice that if I hit set, set, and set, I can toggle to the time and I can go back and forth as well. Now you're thinking, okay, how do I get out of the set mode? Most of the time, if you just leave it alone, the flashing will stop on its own. But you're, if you're impatient, you can always hit the mode or you can turn it off and turn it back on. But basically, if you just give it five seconds, it basically the setting will go away and then you're back to normal. Now, now that we have that, basically you're going to very, very slowly turn the dial clockwise. And if you look at that, it goes from one to, you want to go very, very slowly because on some patients, it might just all of a sudden they feel it. So most patients usually start to feel it around two to three. I um, haven't had too many patients go be into the four and five. Now you also have to remember, how high do you turn it up? Well, for normal, we just want skin sensation. We should not see muscle twitch. So if you turn it up, the amplitude, and you see muscle twitch, well, it defeats the purpose of high frequency, low amplitude. So be careful with that, okay? So that is the setup for that. Hope that helps.